How does money work? How does a bank work? Anything that you call money is a way for us to conveniently exchange goods and services without having to engage in barter and also to shift obligations in time. 77% of Americans are financially worried or at least concerned. 68% of Americans are worried about securing enough money for retirement. So let's look at this. How to manage your money with the 50-30-20 rule. The 50-30-20 rule provides a simple framework for you to manage your finances effectively. It involves dividing your net income, that's your income after taxes, into three categories. Your needs, your wants, your savings, and your debts. Your needs, your wants, and savings or debt repayment. The rule suggests allocating a whole 50% of your net income for essential needs, car payment, rent, all of those kind of things, things that you have to do. 30% to discretionary spending, basically your wants, those new sneakers, that new sweater, the purse, whatever you need. And the remaining 20% to either savings or paying off debt. That gives you some flexibility and you won't feel strained. This approach is designed to provide you a balanced financial lifestyle, making sure you cover your essentials while still having a little bit of room for leisure and enjoyment and to build future financial security. The rule is flexible enough for you to adjust according to changes in your normal income levels and vary your financial needs, making it sustainable as a long-term financial strategy. And depending on your personality, you can adjust those numbers. For me, I don't need a whole lot of wants, so my savings is going to be a little bit higher. Depending on how your personality is and what your lifestyle is all about, you can adjust accordingly. What are 50% of your needs? Well, essential items, services necessary for survival and daily living, and Starbucks ain't on the list. So the examples would be things like groceries, and you know I advocate healthy eating to begin with. Housing, you gotta have that food, water, shelter, right? Housing is a necessary evil sometimes, but you gotta do it. Health insurance, you gotta have that, and other insurances as well. Might be car insurance, car notes, utilities, all of those kind of things, stuff that you need to live life. Then now let's go to the 30% want. These are non-essential. That's like, if you don't buy it, you're not gonna get harmed or hurt by it. It just enhances your quality of life or makes you feel better. Things like shopping, dining out, like do you need to go dine out every day? Hobbies, a little bit of leisure travel, any of those kind of things are all in your wants category, sorry. Many financial challenges stem from mixing your wants and your needs. An example is having a functional phone that you might need every day in today's world, but upgrading to the latest and greatest smartphone just because you want it. Now let's get to the 20% that people don't like doing, because the other part, that's the fun part, right? 20% is either going into savings or paying off debt. And as you improve on these habits, remember these numbers can fluctuate. This 20% is for improving your financial health security and stability in your life. Things like the emergency fund that I always talk about, investment funds, retirement savings, paying off those nasty credit cards, student loan requirement, all of those kind of things that you need to plan out for. And I always recommend that you keep growing that 20% with incremental change and habit shifting. Remember the 50, 30, 20 rule isn't just numbers, it's about how you think about money. Essentially, it's your mindset about money. It teaches you not just to budget, but to think critically about your spending choices and your habits. By adopting this rule, you're not just organizing your finances, you're adopting a holistic approach that can better prepare you for both financial uncertainties as well as opportunities in the future. Remember, how you think about money shows up in how you save and spend. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in not just managing, but multiplying your money, you will definitely want to check out my next video, How to Make Money at Any Age. See you there.